Hey, good morning, guys. It's the next day. It's 4.30 in the morning. We're about to start hitting the roads. I know y'all about guys who could barely see me, probably. But it's pitch black out here. And I'm going to continue on with this drive. Let me just shut this light off. Just had the light off. So y'all guys can see me a little bit. But it's dead pitch black out here. Let's turn the headlights on. And start hitting the roads. Continue on our journey again. Start making our way to Wyoming. Another um, G20 just pulled up right next to us also last night. Right in this little parking lot we was at. There's also somebody else on the other side over there camping. We got like a tent and everything out there. But right now we just backtracking where we came from yesterday. And I'm just making our way right back to the main highway up here. Everything looks all smeary, but it's good in here. Let's get everything situated, guys. We filled her up, She's nice and filled up. Now it's time to get back onto the road. No more bugs on the windows, neither. You know I mean, nice clean window. So now we can see nice and clearly. So now let's go. Continue on with this Wyoming um, road trip going all the way to Wyoming. And as you can see, the sun came up once we was gassing up. We got a little brighter out here, so now we can see nice and clearly. Shut the lights off, no more high beams. It was a little hard seeing the pitch black. And last night was a crazy night. I was rock like crazy. There's a couple campers that pulled up and I just was knocked the heck out. <laughs> I wasn't paying them no mind. I was just so tired yesterday, y'all guys don't understand it. But we back on the road, I got some energy now. And we can continue on with this journey, see how far we can get to our destination to try and get to Wyoming right now. We got a couple of trails we're gonna hit up in Wyoming, so I mean, hopefully we can get there today. We got like 12 hours to say from the destination we at right now. And um, yeah, hopefully we can get there. And on the highway we go, baby. Back on route I-90, going west. We got this thing to ourselves so far, nice and dead. side of the highway right now why you about to start driving it's still early in the morning and i'm about to get some editing going on get another video up for y'all guys so i mean let's get it going turn this computer on and we're really on the side of the highway look <laughs> you see the car is driving i mean when you want to keep working sometimes you got to do certain things you mean keep the car keep going keep flowing to get to our destination my wife over there putting everything into her gps now switching everything over and um, just locking this computer here, getting everything ready. And boy, yeah, we about to get started with our day. Like all these 
there's like stores and like McDonald's and all that stuff. So hopefully we can find something to eat up there and freshen up. So let's go check it out. Let's keep going straight. Wifey's still driving on the side. She's been driving for a little while already. And um, yeah, coming into our exit so far is up here somewhere. up to a Perkins breakfast and we're gonna get some nice little breakfast going on we actually not gonna eat inside wifey's gonna go in there and go order the food for us and we can eat inside the navigator I mean our second home even though it's a little messy back there but I'm gonna organize some things up in a few and I'll see you guys once we get our food and all that so guys when wifey's in there ordering our food I freshen up real quick I got my toothbrush I got my water here show you how the vent life is doing I mean this is how you really do Open the water up real quick. Rub the toothpaste a little bit on your teeth. Wet the toothbrush. I mean, gotta have the toothbrush wet. Just like that. Mouth all cleaned up. Whew. Feel nice and fresh and clean now. Now it's time to change my clothes and freshen my body up. So, see y'all guys once I'm doing, done doing all that stuff. Because I'm not going to show y'all guys my body when I'm getting naked. But I'll show y'all guys once I'm all fresh with that new drip on. And voila, fresh again. You know what I mean? Got them fresh clothes on. Feeling nice and clean. Thanks to the alcohol and a little soap cleaner here. You know what I mean? Doesn't foam up too much soap. That's a good little cleaner soap here. Have you guys ever seen this kind of soap here? They sell this at a Walmart and stuff. But this right here definitely keeps you feeling good and clean and moisturize your skin. And we got the wipes and all that good stuff and the washcloths and the odorant and all the smell goods. So I just feel like I just jumped out of the shower, guys. Tell you the truth. I didn't feel better than when I jumped out of my own shower. That's how clean I feel like. But I feel fresh and clean. I'm going to take this little curtain thing down here. The head up here. Block myself up for freshening up. So nobody see me back here changing and all that stuff. Being all naked. But... I'm here waiting on wifey, she's still in there waiting on the food. I guess it's crowded in there, so things are taking its time. But, you know, we like our stuff well done, so I'd rather them take our time, I mean, take their time, so we can have our food nice and good. So hopefully it does come out good. But I'm fresh now. Um, wifey's in there, fresh herself up in the bathroom. And um, we should be back on the road pretty soon once we done eating and all that stuff. Gas up a little bit and um, get freshened up with the car. Make sure everything good. Make sure all the fluids and everything is good. And then uh, we should be on the roads and continuing on going to Wyoming. We about probably like, I say like 10 to nine miles, I mean 10 to nine hours to get to Wyoming. So yeah, we should be there in 10 to nine hours. So let's see what the day plays out. Hopefully we can get there today. I think we should be able to get there, hopefully into Wyoming. So we ain't gonna be able to do our hikes and none of that stuff today, but we're gonna be able to get to Wyoming, hopefully to another little campsite or something around that area. Hopefully we can find a cool little spot we can rest ourselves at least close by over there. So all we gotta do is wake up in the morning time and get to our destination that we gotta get to and um, start our ventures and start doing our little hikes and start um, exploring and start showing y'all guys some cool things out here in the um, middle of nature and stuff like that. Things I love to do out here. So stay tuned for all that. And um, let's see what this day um, plays out once wifey gets back and once we eat and get back onto the road. So I'll see y'all guys once we are done doing all that stuff. And there goes wifey coming with the food. Yummy yum, hopefully it's good. I only got my food. You only got you. Matter of fact, get out this man. I'm driving off without her. But let's eat, guys. So let's see how this food came out. And this is the toast here. This is some more toast. They were just trying to get rid of their bread. <laughs> and that's our food right there. That's my food. <sighs> Bacon, eggs, cash browns. Yummy yum. Let me bring my bread over here. And let's get to eating. We already had drinks, so we didn't even order no drinks because we're doing things on a budget here, guys. We're trying to save all the bucks we can. So let's get our drinks out of here real quick. Right out the cooler. 
That's why we brought this thing. We actually got a stove. We could have cooked also and save more money, but we already tired, so we ain't trying to put more um, stress on us right now. Um, what you want to drink? We got uh, we got kiwi. Oh, you want a chocolate milk? And I take out orange juice. Put this tray back in. Let's throw ice in there. Hold it up to. It's right on top. We just letting it sit right on top so it keeps everything cool. Close that up so it stays cool. And I'm, you know what? I'm gonna move this cooler, get some more room for myself. Slide that over there. And booyah. Use it as a table. Slide it back a little bit. Put my food over here. And get to eating. Ooh, guys, we just got done eating. My stomach full now. We just making our way out of here. Trying to get to like a Walmart or something. If I can find my way out of this damn parking lot here. Oh, just over here. Get we out of here. We'll go to a Walmart now and um start getting some supplies that we needed. We need some alcohol, so hopefully they got some more alcohol there. And um a few other things that we need, so let's see if they got anything that we going there for. up here somewhere to the right of me just wait for this light to change but it doesn't say don't turn on red so we're turning the car is coming and i'm gonna follow this thing straight here and go to the walmart that's up here and hopefully they got everything that we need so just right here to the right of me be right now at the walmart just getting into the parking lot here Breakfast spot if you just ate it, which is like right next to it, so. We could have walked out here. That's the back of the Yeah, but it wasn't bad where we slept at. We had a good spot. Know. We had a nice waterfall next to us. Why would we want to sleep in this parking lot? Why would we want to choose a parking lot over some nature, you know what I mean? Here goes the Walmart. We walking in there. Navigate over there, park by herself. Right in that corner. This is the best time that you could go into a Walmart because look how empty it is. There's a few cars here, but not too many. And this is like a super center, so it should be real crowded for being a super crowd center here. We got our cart now. We just walked in. Here. Just right here, going to the fruit section, getting some fruits for the car. For the ride, I mean. Smell good, huh? Smell like some fresh fruits. But these are the bananas we needed. Yeah. Fresh yellow bananas. Back at the junk food section, you know me. Always gotta have my candy. What's a road trip without the candy? Oh. Get some Twizzlers. They ain't only got this big pack. I don't think I need that much candy. Oh. Well, I think we're just gonna have to get it. I think it's kinda. I got family size here. You gotta get the Sunny D. And damn, we got more things than we expected again. <laughs> came in here for a few little things and we came out with almost a whole shop of car food. <laughs> so guys, we checking out now, doing a little self checkout. Wifey's gonna do it this time. And I'm just gonna help her. Show you how it's supposed to be done. She thinks she can show me how it's done. So I'm just handing everything to him. Come on, go first. I'm doing it wrong, sorry. Alright, where is this at? Okay, put it in the seat, man. That comes out here. I'm looking at the wrong section. So we back to the car. And it's starting to drizzle out here. We luckily got out before it came down. Just getting over here where the camper van is at. A few cars are parked next to us. We was like the only ones that was parked here at first. But Sarah put the stuff on before it comes down on us.
Let's situate everything, put everything inside this cooler here. Oops, everything falling out. Make sure I don't break these eggs like last time. Everything in here on the last Oh, this one is freezing cold in here. We already had this ice in here for like two, three days. There's still some ice in there. And it's real cool. Just gonna put some more drinks in here. Awesome. Put some sunny D in there for me for later. Put a few of them in there. The rest we put them away for later. I just want those two for now. Put them on tight space in here right now. Put them on tight space in here. Put well, everything situated. And now, close it up. Let's put everything else away before we continue on with our drive. Get up here to the front. And let's get back on this road. Let's make our way to Wyoming now. Ooh, the bike just 
straight to the back. Going up the uphill there. And we're going in. I'm gonna get some food. So guys, we're now sitting here, deciding what we wanna eat here. I know I wanna get myself a pizza and some wings. So, let's look that up. Yeah, can I get a six piece barbecue? Can that be well done also? Yep. And can we come with blue cheese? Blue cheese, sure. Yeah. Which one's a drink though? Uh, Just help yourself with the cheese. Uh, All right. Thank you. I'll well, go we'll ahead and get our drink. Yeah. What do I want here, guys? What do I want to drink? Yeah. Ugh, I might just go with the cherry coat. Going back to my table. We'll wait for our food here. So hey guys, we right here in South Dakota right now at a pizzeria called Upper Crust Pizza and Wings. We we're supposed to go to a pizza hunt, but obviously the um deep fryer was down. Our luck like always, but um we're here. Hopefully they food is good. Hopefully they hold up for their name. They say they good for their pizza and wings. So let's see. That's what exactly what I ordered. Some pizza and some wings. So hopefully everything is good. Let's see when it comes out. Oh yeah, the food came out. Everything looks delicious. Pizza looking good. The wings looking nice and ooh, barbecue ish. And I got the blue cheese and all that stuff right here. I'm about to go in and I see you guys once I'm all finished up. We just bust everything down. The only thing that's left is that one slice and I can't even fit that thing in. That's how bloated I am. But we're gonna wait for the check and then start continuing on with our little ride. And um, probably find a little boondocking spot like about an hour or two from here. And um, see what night plays out from there. I just got done paying for the check and we out of here. Back to the road we go. Ooh, man, I barely could walk, man. Stomach's so bloated. <sighs> Back to our navigator. Let's hit the roads. Camp spot. They actually got some campers down here on the side of us. 
and throughout this little path here there's a whole bunch of other campers but let's go out here and um just go look at it real quick shut the car off and we're on this big hill here it's a nice little spot Ugh. let's go in here Ugh. and let's check this place out show you guys what it looks like we're about to take this bad boy out and then go explore around here for a little bit but i gotta take a look at this Woo. look at this this is so beautiful guys it really looks like a little baby grand canyon right here right oh look i think there's some sheep down there all over there in the corner you see oh, all yes, in the corner yes, yeah yes. there's one right there on top there's of like two of them. the there's two big the ones rock, two long horn sheets we see two long horse sheets from right here guys that's super dope i'm telling y'all that's dope as hell dang just gonna walk over here real quick i was gonna park up right here but it's a little too slanted be good right there because we could do a little pit fire next to the um, camper van there with the doors open but damn just look at this i'm taking that bike out and we're gonna take a ride through here i'm telling you like you can't even go like work your way down here but it's a little dangerous but i know some people did it because you could tell people went down there but you can take that chance if you want to i ain't doing it i got sandals on i ain't busting my ass going down that that hill down there and that's a dangerous hill to fall down but damn this is beautiful let's go over here and take this bike out real quick so we can explore a little bit more take this thing out lock it up real quick ready to ride guys put my helmet on you know safety always come first
as I just jumped off the bike, left it all the way over there. I'm going to go on top of this hill over here. I couldn't drive the bike on top of this thing. So we're going to walk on top of this thing and see what it looks like from up here. This thing is just crazy. Damn. I know it's going to get better once I get up to this top up here. Just coming up to this top. And this thing just looks crazy. Damn. Earlier I seen some longhorn sheep and stuff on the other side. Let's see if we can see any over here. Thing just look like a painting of art and people keep walking this thing because i see some like paths and stuff that keeps going on i'm actually not gonna go all the way down there but it'll be crazy to go down there and check that out but that's a lot to walk i gotta go back over here to the bike Whew, i just want to look at it from up here and this thing is beautiful just can't say that enough but let's get back to this bike and enjoy our ride Ooh, man just got back up here to the bike that thing was crazy over there. It's definitely was a beautiful view though from up there. Let's get back on this bike and now I'm continue on with our little ride around this little campsite here. You didn't see the goats over there? Huh? I put them on my Instagram. Yeah. There's two goats over there laying down. Wanna go see them? Huh? Jump in the back of this. Mm -hmm. I'll take you a quick. That's going to hurt me. What, back here? I'm gonna just lay right Where here. am I going to put my feet at? Just hang it real quick. You're just going to go around real quick. A quick draw. No, you got me.
crazy ride. Now it's time for me to take a shower. Put this little shower thing up. Well, we made it to a shower. Just gotta fill it up with water. Now I gotta set the gun up. Put this thing together. You can see all the little nozzles right there, different settings, so it's gonna be cool to take a shower with this. This is actually our first time using it and testing it out. Oh, I'm actually missing a piece. Let me get the other piece. So this is the piece right here that I was missing. It's gonna put the line in. Oh, water coming up. I think I put a little too much. Put this inside here. Close this up. Let's push this in. Lock it down. Make sure it's on a sprinkle mode. It actually says shower. <laughs> so it does say shower. I guess people does use this for showers. I didn't think of it. I just decided to grab it and was like, hey, this might work for a shower. This is beyond nature. I just gotta tighten this up fully. Make sure it's all tight. And then pump it up. Oh, gotta tighten this up. It's going all crazy here. And it works, guys. Let me test it out on the bike real quick. See how it works over there. Rinse the bike off. Lock this down. Before I take a shower, let me take my bike a shower. Cool it down real quick. And they got different settings. Look, I can turn the little knob up here. It gives it like a little pressure wash. Rinse everything down over here. I would just ride and have all that dirt on it. all that mud and stuff I had on it off. I'm not gonna use all this water because we gotta use some of this water to take a bath with but just give it a quick little rinse. So this thing's so cool like I didn't think this thing would have worked but like I'm just holding a button and it's just shooting out. Just cleaning the bike off. Just rinsed her off. Now it's time to dry her up. Get her a little clean from all that dust I was just driving on and that mud and stuff that was all around. Get my baby all washed back up. Well, at least rinsed off. She ain't gonna be washed up fully. But she'll be a little bit cleaner than she was. Voila! She's nice and cleaner than she was. I mean, she ain't super clean, but better than it was. I'll tell you that. I just did a quick drawing just to put it back up on the um, navigator in the back. She's gonna wrap tire back down and stuff for our next campsite. Had some fun here, just driving it around the little area here. It's nothing crazy, but it was still fun. Definitely had a good time though. Just finished wiping these little tires and stuff down. But now it's time to take a break and then take myself a bath in a few. I'm just gonna enjoy these views while I take a little break. Oh man, just taking the tent out. Shower tank here, and this is how we take a shower, guys. I also got the um, little water tank I put up there. Once I open this um, pop up tent open, just put all that stuff right through it. I'll show you how it is once it's set up here. Yeah. So open this up here, it's gonna be like a little doorway here in the bottom. I'm gonna open that up. Then I'm going to go in here and bring this thing out from in here. Right from the top. And boy. Now I just got to put the little um, spiky thing on the floor here so the tent will be flying around. Everybody want to know how we take a shower? Let me take you into our little bathroom here. While it's all set up, you take this little nozzle here that I put up in the roof with that little pump, and you just squirt the little button right here. Well, let me turn it into nozzle. I mean, to the shower head part right there. Um, so turn this into shower head. Boom. And right there, 
We got the little sprinkles so we can clean ourselves up nice and good. But this is our shower here. We're gonna be taking a shower outdoors. Get myself situated in a few. Just wanted to set that up. Let the water up top get a little warm with the um, sun and the heat from up there. But yeah, this is gonna be our little night for the night. Just right here, just enjoying it. It's so beautiful here. We're gonna set the fire up right next to the um, van right here and just chill here. The sheep and stuff just went all the way over there it's on top of that hill. While we were setting up the, um, the tent and stuff, the sheep were just coming out the roof from right here, just jumping down. So that was super dope. It's actually like another little path that goes out and goes up to that little edge over there. I might see if I go over there in a few and check that out. So we see if we can get closer to the mom, mountain sheep over there. But I'm just gonna sit up here and relax for a little bit. Enjoy these views before I take a shower over here. So guys, I just got done taking a little break. And I'm, like I said, I was gonna go over here and check out this little edge over here in this corner. And see if we can get over here and check that out. And also the um, longhorn sheep is over here. They ran down this little edge right here. Instead of going straight down the hill. It's crazy how they could just walk right down there like nothing. If I was to try that, I probably would have went ro rolling right down that thing. But just coming over here, it's like a little edge I was talking about all the way in this corner here. And I just made it right here to this corner. This gets a little scary here. It gets real narrow. Let's take a little chance and go over here. Dang, this feels scary. It just feel like this is going to collapse at any time. Look at why you feel all the way up there in the top. That little thing right there. <laughs> where the sheeps and stuff is over there. The longhorn sheeps. Just down there in the bottom. And there's some over there in that corner. But this is so crazy right here. Just standing here. <sighs> I probably could go more down if I wanted to, but it's a little risky. So I'm just gonna go back up. <laughs> Make my way back up here and sit next to our little campsite. And just enjoy it up here. If I can make it back up, this thing is real steep. It was easy coming over here, but harder going up. Ooh, just made it back up here to our campsite. And I'm just gonna relax up here and enjoy these views. Let me put this helmet back inside the car. And these gloves. We ain't gonna need these into the next um. Thanks for the little stop we go to. So I'm actually gonna put this bike back onto the back of the navigator and um strap her back up. So just stay back on back on neutral. It's like on a hill, so it's a little hard to get on neutral right here. Gotta head on neutral there, put it all the way back on first. And it's now on neutral now. This puts just oh yeah. I'm gonna drop the bike, guys. <laughs> it's this hill I'm on. It's like real slanted. Just pushing this thing over here. And I'm about to get this thing mounted back onto the um, back of the navigator here. And whoo. A little hassle putting it up on there, but I got it up there nice and strapped. Locked down for the night. And I'm ready to go tomorrow. So all we gotta do is just get up clean that little area and I'm hit the roads but I'm gonna be taking a shower like I said in a few now I definitely need to relax that bike got me exhausted let's go over here and let's enjoy this view over here just sit here for a little bit and soap this um, amazing view up oh man this view is so beautiful man I could just sit here all day and day. But I gotta get up. I'll take a shower. I'm exhausted. I need to freshen up myself. Take a nice cool shower. And um, get changed up, man. And start this little fire pit. And I enjoy a night out here. And tomorrow we can hit the roads again. We're right now in um, South Dakota. At this little camp spot called Badlands. And um, this is a beautiful little spot here. I'll tell you that. It's a whole bunch of like um, longhorn sheep and stuff. Just coming out the um, roads here. Just jumping down here. And that's so cool seeing that, that type of stuff out here. It's so beautiful seeing nature. Just um, being out here and get to be out here and stay out here with nature. But this is our shower here. This is a shower we got done setting up. I got that little tank up there. 
Just getting a little heated up with the um, roof up there with the sun and all that. But I'm gonna get myself situated. And I'm gonna wrap this video up here. See you guys tomorrow morning. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please do me a favor. Smash that thumb buttons up. Go subscribe if you haven't. Go turn on the notification bell. And also, if you guys wanna get that drip, go check out the website. Go get yours. I got all colors, all sizes. So go check it out. And I'm gonna support the adventures. So I'm gonna wrap it up here. See you guys tomorrow morning.